by now, your party has popped. Is that true? Right? <laughs> Woo! All right. Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Andy Ross, and I want to continue to wish you a happy new year. But I'm wondering by now, in this this first full week of January 2020, how your resolutions are doing? I don't want to discourage you, but I do want to ask you, what have you been resolved about? What are you hoping for in this new year? You know, um, one of my favorite Psalms is Psalm 63. It's beautiful. You, God, are my God. Earnestly, I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. I've seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. What are you hoping to become in your life with God this year? I think that's a smarter approach to resolutions. Instead of seeking things this year, to seek growth, measurable growth in your life with God, with Jesus. Instead of focusing on your wants, what you want to be or do, focus on what God is wanting to be and do in you and in your life with God. God is more concerned about your ultimate sanctification, your progress in your life and faith with God, than your current demands for blessings and happiness. Something to think about. God is more interested in shaping your life this year for his ultimate goal, for your peace and life with him, than just what you want from week to week. Jesus prayed that we would be one with him as he and the Heavenly Father are one. How are you, day by day, with God's Holy Spirit's help, opening yourself, surrendering yourself to become that woman of Christ, that man of Christ that Jesus wants you to be. A person who is being led by the Spirit, a person who finds her or his peace and strength in God's Spirit, and a person who is living a life of extraordinary love through Christ's Spirit. That takes a lifetime, but it can begin today if you take that step of faith. Again, I'm Andy Ross, and I hope that this new month, this new year, this new decade is the beginning of remarkable things in you, things that last beyond a party popper, things that will last far beyond a simple resolution, something of eternity and glory that God is doing in you. <laughs> Blessings on your day, and I will see you in church.